Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, I've got some little compilations to show you and I've got some new products to show you as well. And these have all been sent to me by the lovely people at fansells.com. So, do go and check out their website. Um, I do have a playlist if you check it in my YouTube video playlist. I do have one for fansells. So, if you have a look on there, um, you will see the unboxings on this lovely cupcake and this gorgeous little tiger. Um, the tiger was sent to me uh, in December last year so if you look for December's uh, unboxing and then this one was sent to me in the very last uh, parcel that I received from them and that one is January this year so yay I just thought I'd start off with a little bit of sparkle both ornaments both done really really well so I'll do full completion reviews on them and some kittens down uh, but uh, yeah I want to get into these new products and have a look and see what we've got they are just so sparkly I love that I love the way it's come out excellent okay so keep watching and you'll get to see those a bit closer up right so new parcel uh, there is a special offer on that fan sells at the moment if you buy five items you will get one free so yay go and check that out excellent okay right let's have a look and see what we got i'm really excited uh oh we've got a diamond painting and we have oh i think you can probably guess what they are <laughs> upside down okay and then we have oh another diamond painting oh with a little sneak peek on there pop that one out the way and then we've got a box yay we've got a box you know, I love my special drills and my bling and my projects. So, what shall we look at first? Let's look at these because you can more or less see what these are. And I'm going to leave the box till last. Uh. <laughs> okay, huge thank you, fan cells, for sending me these and for sending me uh, the ones that I've completed. I really do love receiving them and I love doing them. It's a fantastic hobby, it's diamond painting. Right, let's get into these and have a look. Okay. So this is a set of six cards and the price of it was £5.99. So they're working out at roughly a pound each. So if you are wanting to sell your cards, uh, they're a great value. And if you're wanting to send them to people, they're even better. A pound for a card. Yeah, that's handmade and it's got all these gems on it as well. All these crystals. Woo! And it's all special drill. Oh, there's some really oh, pop ones in there. Look later, Liz. Right, so we have a pen, boat and wax as normal. And these are heart-shaped cards. And I just thought they were a little bit different. Let me fold them in the right places. Look, there you are. So, oh, they've got a really big uh, cover sheet on them as well. That's good. But uh, again, if you saw um, the cards that I got at Christmas, which were the um, snow globe cards, I actually, with most of those, just used the front as a topper rather than sending it as is. Now, I know we're sort of like thinking, oh, Valentine's has gone. But really, a card that's like heart shaped is an I love you, engagement, wedding, anniversary, um, even get well soon if you want to send some flowers to somebody maybe not the one with complete roses on like uh, maybe not that one that's got a few different flowers on it um, but yeah it's just a thinking of you and a love token really isn't it so yeah you can easily just send it as is so it's not come with any envelopes I wonder if it should have had envelopes I don't know I'll have to look on the website but to be honest they're probably just standard I would think six by six inch envelopes let me just have a quick look which i do tend to have those spare anyway um and they are a very reasonable price to buy the smaller envelopes uh oh no you're gonna need a seven inch by seven inch envelope for these yeah they're about they're just about six and a quarter, six and a half inches, which is about 17 centimetres tall. 
by yeah six and a quarter inches which is 16 inches so yeah you're gonna really need to do it justice and to have a little bit of wiggle room for the gems to be on for the crystals to be on you're gonna need a seven inch by seven inch envelope but that's fine let's say what i tend to do with us i will be probably cutting these out and um, then you've got this side as well that you can use as another topper if you wanted to um the thank you inside I mean, he can send it as a thank you. It's no problem with that. We've got a nice space to write here as well. Let's say if you want to send the card as is, or you can always just cover that over. I do like if I send a card to put an insert in. So, you know, you can always just draw around your shape and then cut your insert out and just cut it a little bit smaller than the actual shape of the card and then just pop a little insert in. So if you stick it on that side, then you don't see that side. You'll just see um, your heart underneath of that side. So yay, but these are lovely. They're a nice quality. I would think they're probably 250, 280 GSM. And uh, yeah, they do stand up nicely. Look, give it the waft test. <laughs> yeah moving a little bit but it's not falling over so that's good uh, it just needs creasing a little bit more to be fair because it's come a long way squashed out like that so they do need just folding a little bit once it's been in an envelope for a while it'll be fine so yeah really pleased with those this is gorgeous this is all red and pink roses this one and i like the background as well with just that sort of like jady green color and like the cartoony style hearts um, just make it that little bit different, a little bit more modern than like, it's going to sound awful. And I am a grandma, so yeah, um, it just looks more like a granny card if it's just like all lace and flowers. And yeah, just with that extra bit at the back, it just makes it say more modern, more up to date and uh, for a younger generation, shall we say. Gosh, that makes me sound old. Oh dear. <laughs> so let's have a look at the other designs. So this one is, uh, I say, fold this one as well so you can see the actual design. So the backs all look the same and the middles are all the same. It is just the fronts that are a slightly different one. So this one's got roses and other flowers here. Uh, don't ask me what they are, no good on flowers. But yeah, again, I'd love this greeny colour. It just really makes it stand out that little bit more. Something really, really different. And there's about three or four different styles in the heart-shaped cards. These are the ones I got because I found that, I know I've bought flowers again. Heck, I'm definitely getting old. I'm buying flowers. No, I'm only kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have got cute and fluffy as well, so it's balancing itself out. Uh, yeah, so these I thought would be most useful for me, um, for like Mother's Day, birthdays, things like that as well. Uh, yeah, Mother's Day card. I mean, you send your mother a heart, you love your mum. And then we've got this one, which is more paler roses. More paler. Paler roses, Liz. We don't need to say part more. <laughs> Okay, and then, oh, this one's nice. This is a definite uh, wedding -y style card, I do believe. So this one's got like white roses and red roses. Very nice, that one. That's definitely romance, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then, oops, this is a pink and cream roses. So it looks like we've got all the big gems in the middles as well, just to make them stand out that little bit more. But I'm definitely loving this border, this background, rather than it just being plain. So, yay. And then, ooh, more red roses. Wow, that's not the same, is it? No, they are all slightly different. So we've got red, we've got red and pink, we've got red and white. Then we've got mainly pink with a little bit of red. Uh, pink and red but with some different shape flowers and then pink and cream very very nice liking these right i'm going to flatten them out because otherwise they're all just going to open out ah now then there's an idea oh i wonder if that would work let me just think mm. Just thinking of, sorry, my card making head's just come on and I'm just thinking of different ideas with cards. Just wondering if you stuck that one to that one on there. 
leave it with me and um, once i've done them i'll probably have a real good play about with them and i'll maybe do some more card making on uh, the channel i have done a little bit in the past um, but I'm conscious that maybe just because I've come from a card making background, maybe not everybody has and maybe everybody doesn't want to see lots and lots of cards. Um, but, I, you know, card making is what I've done for over 20 years and diamond painting is something that I've got into through card making. So, right, yeah, I was flattening these out, wasn't I? And then that just idea just popped into my head about putting a few of them together and doing various different things so i do get crafting overload these days because i just have that little bit extra time to uh, be in my craft room without interruption so i can have some really good plays okay let's have a look at these crystals and gems yay lots of red of course romance say so, valentine's day is gone but you know, the hearts to me aren't just Valentine's Day. There are lots of other things as well. And Valentine's Day just seems to come and go really, really quickly. <laughs> okay. We were going to go out for a meal for Valentine's Day. And then we decided, no, it was just too expensive. They just put the prices up so much on Valentine's Day. So we decided we'll just go on a different day. And uh, probably have the same thing for an awful lot cheaper price. Yeah, I'm very, very yeah, frugal, as it were. I don't like paying. Um, I don't like paying full price for things. <laughs> so we have two lovely bright reds there. So two packets of those, and then we've got this lovely grassy green colour. Lovely clear crystals. These as well. Yeah, there's no dust or anything in these packets. These are really good. And then oh, let me show you them the right way around. I'm showing you the side without uh, with the strip. I'm showing you the side with the strip on now so you can't see them properly oh dear nobody said i was professional at this <laughs> so then we've got like a sagey green and a little bit of a pale lime green oh ooh, and we've got some pearls look so white pearls with an iridescent coating on they're gonna be really pretty so i suspect that there's going to be, you know how when you sometimes get a bouquet of flowers and they put like those little like pins or whatever in or um, a little like flourish of uh, little crystals and things in it could make it look like that, that'd be pretty. So then we've got like a, a pinky colour, sort of a deep pinky colour and a paler pink, so no hot pinks, but that's fine because we've got the red and then look at these specials. So we've got these lovely roses. Okay, we've had those before. Very pretty. Some uh, large red semispheres. So there's no facets on those. So they really give you a different uh, effect because the way the light shines on them is really different on the ones that have no facets. We've got some larger white pearls with an iridescent coating on. Very nice. And then we've got some marquees in green with the iridescent coating on. So you're getting green and purple and blue and everything in those. Really nice. Sorry, they just just got a little bit of a glare today, haven't I? It's actually bright outside today. Yay, go the UK. <laughs> right, so let's pop these away and we'll have a look at the next one. Yeah, I think for a uh, pound each, they sit at 5 99 for six cards. Excellent value for money. And you can do a little bit of crafting as well. Brilliant. Right, what shall we look at next? Let's have a look at this one. So can you guess what it is? We've got flowers on again. Look, looks like little roses. And this just might be a little bit of a fluffy tail. So let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> sneak peek, sneak peek. <laughs> Right, so I'm back to my cute and cuddly. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Every unboxing I do, every unbagging I do at the moment, do I get the rubbish? Yes. <laughs> oh, we could play a whole new game, couldn't we? Will we or won't we get the rubbish strip today? <laughs> No, it's the static, you know, as they're uh, packaging uh, things up, they go at such a speed, they're so efficient um, with all the packaging that as they're taking the little strips off that makes um, the thing, uh, it's probably the crystals, um, as they're putting them in the packet and they're ripping the little sticky strip off, uh, it's probably just the static and it's just sticking to it, but it just really makes me laugh that I just seem to always find this little red strip in my pockets. 
<laughs> Even when you think there's not one there, you'll move something and oh, there it is. <laughs> so how gorgeous is this little chap? Oh, look, she's beautiful. She's just so smiley. When I saw her, I thought, oh, I've got to get her. And she's a little red squirrel as well. So she's so sweet. Oh, look, look, look. That smile just won me over. She's just posing there, isn't she? With all these love hearts in the background. Again, you could use it as just your picture or it's a Valentine or wedding or anniversary. I mean, that would be lovely as an anniversary present for somebody. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty. But it's just that smile. Have you ever seen a squirrel smile like that? really pretty and she's got all these roses on her head look somebody's made her a little garland a little headband with all roses and flowers and then there's this big rose down here as well she's definitely in love isn't she that's a definite ah, smile <laughs> so she is nine different gems and colors so quite a quickish one to do although there is quite few gems uh, quite a few crystals on this lovely little squirrel um the background it is a partial so the background doesn't have any gems on it it is just where you see your uh, numbers and letters that are sticky which is where you're going to put your gems so yeah but that is just so sweet probably a couple of hours just sit on an evening or something and um, if you're doing big projects then sometimes you just need a break from doing big projects, particularly if there's a lot of colour blocking, if there's a lot of, say, one colour, if you're doing a huge canvas that's got a lot of black in it and you've been sat there for hours doing the black, then sometimes just come in and doing a little bit of colour and sparkle just uh, makes you smile a little bit more. <laughs> and these always make me smile. I always look for canvases and things that are going to make me smile. And this one definitely does. Don't you just want to pick it up and give it a bit of cuddle? We do have red squirrels uh, in the UK, but unfortunately, they are getting uh, pushed out by the big grey squirrels. Because red squirrels are only little teeny tiny ones. And the grey squirrels are the really, really big bully ones. So I love grey squirrels as well, I have to say. Because um, they really make me laugh. But uh, yeah, little red squirrels are quite an endangered species nearly here so we have to look after them and you do see them from time to time not very often down here i've mainly seen them when we've been on our holidays when we've gone up to scotland and uh, yeah we've seen them and we've seen them put little food bits out for them in the wild but they're just so cute i've never seen one smile quite like that but that is just so pretty can't resist and the price of this one is only a three pound and 49 pence what can you buy for three pound 49 pence you know you've got a whole picture here so once you've done your craft which you know for a couple of hours crafting three pound 49 is nothing um and then you've got a picture afterwards so it's 24 centimeters nine and a half inches so it'll fit lovely in your little magnetic frames or as i always say you can cover your borders um if you look on fan cells in the tool section there are some nice border tapes and things that you can put around the edges or you can take off um the edges if you use uh, nail varnish remover the printing can come off or some people just paint over the edges i like to cut them out um, and actually i'm thinking i've got some plain boxes some plain gray boxes on my calax system in my craft room and i keep thinking i might put some cute pictures um on the front of those boxes and these little square ones would just look so pretty mind you then i'd probably just sit and stare at the pictures rather than actually getting anything done so maybe that's not a good idea <laughs> So we have a pen, boat and wax, our normal little toolkit. Let's have a look at these crystals. Okay, oh, we've got a hot pink, I think, I think. Right, let's start at this end. So, oh, nice and clear again. So we've got, uh, at the other foot, right. So we've got a, a nice a clear crystal at this end, very sparkly. And then that one is like a very pale brown colour, almost pink. So I'm thinking that's going to be squirrel. Uh, oh, that's going to be squirrel's tail around here. She's got a lovely big fluffy tail. Oh, and all on a little face. So, oh, cute. Okay. And then we've got a lime green and a 
palish pink and then oh no it's not a hot pink it's sort of a mid pink it's it's a very pink pink not quite bubble gum but you know what i mean <laughs> and then we've got a darker bronzy color there so that's going to be squirrel as well a little bit of your standard 310 black there in your acrylic drill and then look we've got some more roses and some more green with the iridescent coating, your marquees there. So similar colour palette, actually, to uh, your cards that we've just done. So very nice. Liking that one. £3.49. You can't go wrong. So that's a little squirrel. Just pop hair on one side. Okay. Ooh, now I'm going to leave it till last. <laughs> So we've already seen that we've got two little chicks sat up here. So I'm thinking this one might be Easter. <laughs> Oops, now then, where's the end? Come on, where's the end? There it is. Oh, I know what this one is. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That's excellent. That is brilliant. Yeah, this one just really, really made me laugh. As I say, when I am choosing projects to do, I like something that's going to make me smile and laugh. And that just really did make me laugh. It is just a little gonk and he's just absolutely covered in chicks. And do you think somebody's just said to him, can you just look after the chickens for uh, a bit for me? And he said, yeah, sure, thinking that there's just going to be a couple. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> and that's eleven that we can see. So, yeah, I love these. Look, they've sat in his hat up here. We've got two that are up here. And then this one's just peeking out there. And then that one there, look. Oh, they're absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and they've all got different expressions as well. They're all slightly different, looking slightly different ways. And uh, yeah, I think he's just thinking, what have I got myself into? <laughs> and he's got little dungarees on. Look, we've got little braces here. Oh, my goodness. And it looks as though he's got like a, a bandana or something on his forehead. And then he's put his hat over his bandana. So it's quite a trendy little gonk is this one. And then we've got all these lovely blue flowers with the green leaves around. And just some little lemon ones. So, yeah, I mean, it's sort of like Easter-ish, but there are no Easter eggs on it. So if you do want to put it up for Easter, then great. But you could leave it up after Easter as well. It's just so funny. But look at these chicks. Look at those two up there. And then we've just got Peekaboo here. And then we've got, I'll watch this way, you watch that way. We've got, well, I'm in the middle. I want to be centre stage. This one's saying, well, I want it to be there, but I suppose you're there first. And this one's saying, well, I'll watch this way. And he's watching that way as well. And then they're just hidden out the way, letting everybody else argue and they'll just keep out the way. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. I love it. Absolutely. Oh, dear. I like his little hat as well, the different colours. So we're very sort of pastely. Um, and then he's got like, um, well, it's uh, a little bit like plaid really, isn't it? Because it's got like little squares or stripes on it. Mm, different. It's going to look really fun when it's finished. Okay, give it a good flat mount. Uh, if you find that your canvases are a little bit creased, because they've come a long way wrapped around some drills so if you just put them under something heavy um, for a couple of days they should just flat out uh, if they don't do that you can iron them on the back before you put your diamond paintings on just use a low heat um, and it will just take away the creases a little bit obviously um, just test a little bit first you don't want to ruin your canvas just maybe test a little bit on the edge to make sure that your irons at the right temperature and everything first i have got some uh, ironing videos as well uh, on my channel if you want to check those out so yay <laughs> okay we've got pen butt and wax our standard little toolkit and this one is nine colors again but this one has got the gm codes and the crystal codes on it so when we kit this one down, we'll be able to put it away in number and gem order. Excellent. I am enjoying putting my drills away with numbers on now. Just makes things a little bit easier, a bit more organised. There you go, me. 
All right, so let's see what we've got in this one. Looks like we're a similar colour palette again. I must have been feeling the same colours when I ordered these. Oh, lovely clear crystals again. So we'll start at this end. So we've got like this very pale lemony colour. Sort of a lemony lime colour, that one. Great clear crystal. And what's number two then? So that's, oh, I think that's got a bluish tinge to it. And then like a bronzy colour. And a little bit of pink. Not quite a hot pink, but getting there. A getting there hot pink. And that's a nice orangey colour. And another sort of, that's more of a lemon colour than the lime at the beginning. And then that's that pink colour again. I can't quite, it's like a rosy pinky colour. It's a slightly different colour, that one. Hmm. Oh, and then we've got these. Oh, two lots, look. So. But there is an awful lot of leaves on this one. Look all around the uh, chicks and the little gonk there. So, yeah, I love his little dungarees. Excellent. And then we've just got these little pink semispheres with the iridescent coated on. So lovely. No facets on those. So where do the pink go then? Ah, right. So the pink are just dotted around uh, the flowers and the leaves. So like berries or like little buds of flowers that haven't quite come out yet. Oh, that is gorgeous. And the price of this one is only a £3.49 as well. Brilliant value for money. Now, I've actually got four items here. So if I'd have added another one to uh, my basket, one of them would have been free. So, yeah, just think about that. Do we like free? <laughs> okay, so let's move you up. That is just brilliant. Can you imagine just sitting there and all of a sudden you're covered in chicks? Actually, I'd probably quite like that because, uh, yeah, I am a very much a, an animal lover. But we're back to cute and fluffy again, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> okay now then this one is actually a little bit special and um, there was one item that i asked if uh, they could send me and unfortunately it was out of the, out of stock at that time i think it is probably back in stock now um but they said would i like to choose something else and it's like fit and i just happened to come across this and i thought yeah i love that i'm going to get that so let me open it and have a look it's come in a lovely box to keep it nice and safe. So I am loving the fact that things are coming in boxes now. Oh, but this one is actually wooden as well. So it's a project. Very nice. Yeah, the wooden ones aren't quite so bad. They're not quite as fragile as like the acrylic ones. But I'm loving the fact that they come in boxes. And if you're wanting to give them as presents, it's nice to give something as a present in a box. So we've got our little plain base there. Um, nice and solid. Uh, I mean, you can always either colour these in with alcohol markers or you could even use some of the magic glue or some sealer and actually then cover it in gems as well. Uh, if you wanted to, you can decorate them up or leave them plain as is. And uh, Oh, let me just move this out of the way first. Pen, bow, time, wax. Get the basics out of the way first. And then this one, look. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I love it. And I just thought the nurses where hubby goes for his dialysis just look after him so well that I thought I am going to get this and do it for them and they can just have it on their desk um, and just as a little thank you so they can all like share it. And it says on the bottom here, look, nurses have hearts of gold. <laughs> nurses have hearts of gold. So it's a little nurse, but she's an angel and she's got her little nurse's hat on up there and she's pink as well. So, you know, go figure. But yeah, and she's holding a little gold heart there. And she's just got like that little smile on, that little caring smile. So, yeah, it's like it was fate. Um, one of the items wasn't available. So I said, oh, and I said, I just happened to come across this one. And I thought, right, I'm going to do that. And uh, Hobie can take it as a thank you to the nurses for looking after him. So, yay, she's just so pretty. And I just, yeah, it's a very peaceful expression, isn't it? Say an angel wings in the background. Wow. So she is all a crystal special drills. Oh, look, it was meant to be. I can see some hot pink hearts there. Yay. <laughs> so let's give her a quick measure. 
Okay, so from <clears throat> the base to the top of her hat is 20 centimetres, which is 8 inches. And the widest point is 5 and a quarter inches, which is about 3 and, uh, sorry, 13 and a half centimetres. Gosh, if it was 3 and a half centimetres, it'd be tiny. <laughs> Not reading the writing now. Okay, the base is your standard size, which is 5 inches and 13 centimetres by 8 centimetres, 3 and a quarter inches. So, yeah, a very small footprint. So, if they pop it on the desk, it will uh, be very pretty and it's sparkly and hopefully it will make them smile as well. I think it's just a little bit different rather than a card that can fall over and get a little bit grubby and a little bit dog-eared. Um, a little ornament is just something a little bit special and a little bit different to give them. So, yay. I mean, we're always buying them chocolates and biscuits and things like that. And I just think maybe sometimes if they get fed up of chocolates and biscuits, can you get fed up of chocolates and biscuits? I'm not really sure on that one. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at these crystals. So she is. Oh, not many colours. We have, oh, six, six different gems and colours. So she's quite a quick little project to do. About an hour, an hour and a half-ish probably to do. Um, just to get all those gems put on. And it will be sealed as well. Because uh, obviously if it's going uh, to the hospital, then I want to make sure that it's fully sealed. So that if people are picking it up, then uh, the gems aren't going to move or anything. They will be stuck on. You know, I know I do say seal things a lot. But you find that the gems will stay on and there's no problem with them falling off or anything. But with the best will in the world, they can get moved. You know, if people are picking them up and they just sort of slide the finger across or something knocks up against it, they can move off where they're supposed to be. So it's always better just to make sure that they're like secured in place, as it were. So we've got a gorgeous silver there again, nice and sparkly. A little bit of like a pale pinky with a purple tinge to it. A little bit of a lemony gold there for her hair and her heart. And then we've got hot pink hearts. And we only need two. And we've got two spare. Yay! <laughs> and then she's got these gorgeous um, hearts here looking gold. And then we've got these big teardrops there. So we've got three of those. So we've got another one spare. Yay! And then her little angel wings are made out of all these pink um, marquees. And again, there's no facets on those. So you do get, they're more like, they look like glass. They are crystal, but they do look like glass when there's no facets in them. You just say the light just hits them slightly differently. So you get that little different effect. But they're very pretty. So yay, I just thought she's gorgeous. Um, I mean, to be honest, if somebody's just passed the nursing exams, it'd be lovely as like a little keepsake, um, you know, if, even for somebody that's a nurse that's a birthday or whatever, you know, just a nice little present. But as I say, this one is going as a thank you um, to the nurses that look after hubby, because I just thought, yeah, just something a little bit different. And it gives me something to do as well. <laughs> Okay, so a huge thank you fan cells for sending me these. I've really enjoyed looking at them and uh, showing you. And I've got to really enjoy doing them as well. They're just so fab. Oh, so we started off with our gorgeous cards, the heart-shaped cards, set of six with like the very modern style on them as well. We got our gorgeous smiley little sweet. Quirrell, that smile is just wonderful. You just can't help but smile back when you see something like that. Then we've got our <laughs> looking a little bit fed up gonk there, uh, gonk gnome with all his little chicks that he's looking after. <laughs> and then our beautiful little angel nurse in the middle there. Uh, yeah, she is just so pretty. I'll let you know what the nurses say when they receive that. Obviously, I've got to get her completed first. But uh, yeah, that will be uh, one of the projects done fairly quickly. OK, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me as much as I've enjoyed showing them. If you have, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to go and check out Fansell's website for those special offers. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next and see these completed, 
And if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.